Hello, my name is Rachel Shai. Um, I'm a junior majoring in eBio with a minor in sociology and pursuing a certificate in animals and society. When I first came to CU, I was set on getting a degree in a field that would allow me to best contribute to the effort of saving our environment. To do this, I started as a freshman in environmental engineering and was determined to pull through in this major until graduation because I had thought that getting an environmental engineering degree was the best way I'd be able to contribute to, the, to make the most impact on sustainability and preserving our environment. During my sophomore year at home, due to the pandemic, I struggled to decide whether or not to take a gap year, thinking my potential engineering classes might be too much outside the support system I had back on campus. I decided I would take continuing education classes asynchronously from home in subject areas outside of the engineering path, partially because I wanted a break from engineering and partially because I had interests that were far outside my major. Surprisingly or not, those two isolating semesters at home consisted of the first classes where I was honestly enjoying my learning and actually happy to read the course material. Um, I felt like I was learning more practical information that I wouldn't have learned otherwise had I continued directly down my perspective engineering path. My intro biology classes, though fast-paced and asynchronous, were so interesting to me that I was obsessive about reading every page of the textbook. Then later that summer, I visited the American Museum of Natural History and was enthralled to see the extensive exhibits on Earth's evolutionary history that I had just spent months immersing myself in. This, coupled with binging nature documentaries in my free time, led me to realize that I could make a change in my college career now that would nourish my passions and interests while continuing to create a path for myself in the future um, to fulfill my goals of environmentalism. I had to get over the fear of judgment, of switching to an easier major. Leaving College of Engineering as a woman with very proud parents was a hard pill to swallow, but after realizing that I could be proud of myself for pursuing what I'm interested in, and realizing that my parents would be proud of me for that too, I began to accept that it was okay to change your major. And I was excited to find out that evolutionary biology and ecology was a much better fit for me. This has been my first year as an official eBio major. This year, this fall, I had a gen bio lab and I was super fascinated by the microscopes in the first week of classes. Then I found out about the Change Collective program and was very interested in the opportunity to gain experience working in a lab setting and also studying diatoms, microscopic algae that I had heard about in my bio two class. This program and working experience has opened my eyes to more possible career paths I've, ne I've never previously considered and being around like-minded individuals has affirmed my decision to switch my major from engineering to eBio. Having access to the lab and microscopes has been really great for my newfound curiosity about biology. There's been times in the lab while waiting on samples to process where I would just examine my food for my lunch under the microscope, just so fascinated by the normally invisible microscopic world right under our noses. Once my supervisor, Pat, came into the lab and said, anytime someone's looking through a microscope, I have to come see what it is. I had to admit it was just an onion for my lunch, <laughs> but it was definitely a candid moment for me in the lab. Having the opportunity to work alongside Pat, alongside Pat Koselik, the director of our museum and world-renowned diatomist, has been so inspiring and an incredible learning experience. I've become familiar with sample processing and lab work using different types of microscopes and have been guided in writing a scientific paper based on first-hand research. I can say without a doubt that these have been some of the most valuable experiences since coming to college. During our Sustainable Futures Fest that the Change Collective put on in the museum, I got to show visitors the microscopes. It was so cool to witness the astonished excitement they had when looking at the microscopes for the first time the same excitement I felt when looking at the diatoms and onions. <laughs> I feel like being in this major and doing work in line with my interests has helped me feel closer than ever to my definition of success, and I feel confident that I'm now on the path that's right for me. I can't stress enough how much I've appreciated the opportunity to work with Pat, the microscopes, and getting to know all the members of the Change Collective. Not only has this experience been so influential in my future in biology, but I also have found an amazing community to which I feel at home.